we all have expectations, especially when it comes to medical treatments. These expectations can influence the symptoms and course of diseases as well as the effectiveness and tolerability of treatments. Mr. Schmidt has been suffering from intense back pain for some time. His hope to find an effective therapy is fading. He is desperate. His neighbor, Mrs. Johns, gives him some good advice. She says that a doctor at the new back pain center has helped her husband. Expectations are created by information. We get it from experts, from the media or in conversations with friends. Our own experiences and observations of other patients also influence our expectations. Our brain links new information with memories. Thoughts and imagination are just as involved as feelings, such as fear. Mr. Schmidt decides to give it another try and visits the recommended doctor at the pain center. He gains confidence, draws hope, and follows the therapeutic instructions. Keeps a pain diary, goes to physical therapy, and receives the optimal pain medication. Over time, the pain decreases. Mr. Schmidt is now convinced that the treatment eases his back pain. His expectation has a positive impact, and it's not imaginary because the changes in Mr. Schmidt's brain and body are measurable. They are based on complex psychoneurobiological processes in the brain. Already just the belief in the effectiveness can reinforce the success of a treatment, kind of like the body's own pharmacy. Imaging techniques show that certain areas in the brain get activated, the pain-relieving system for example. A positive expectation changes how pain is processed and perceived by the nervous system. This results in the release of messenger substances known as neurotransmitters, such as the body's own pain-inhibiting opioids. We no longer feel the pain as strongly even though we have not taken any pain medication. Such powerful mechanisms operate in many bodily systems, in the intestines, in the lungs, in the cardiovascular and endocrine system in the immune system and in mental health. In the immune system, placebo effects can be achieved through prior experience and conditioning. In depression, placebo effects act on the neurotransmitter serotonin and on emotion-regulating networks. We know this from studies with placebo treatments, as well as from studies in which expectations of healthy participants or patients were specifically modulated. One of the most informative studies is an experiment with the potent painkiller remifentanil. Participants were given a moderate to strong heat pain. Then they received the potent analgesic in one of three different conditions. Once with no expectation, once with a positive expectation and a negative expectation. The astonishing result, the positive expectation doubles the pain-relieving effect. The negative expectation almost abolishes the effect of the potent drug. Conclusion, expectations are not only the driving force of placebo effects, but they also modulate the efficacy of real drugs. However, Negative expectations can also interfere with treatment success, or lead to the occurrence of adverse effects, this is what we call the nocebo effect. In order to use the effects for the benefit of patients, three major, open research questions must be answered. 1. Who is particularly susceptible to expectancy effects? 2. In which diseases and on which organ systems does the expectancy effect work particularly well? 3. How can therapists use the findings systematically to help patients in the clinic? This is exactly what we are researching at the Universities of Essen, Marburg and Hamburg. Visit us on our homepage, www.treatment-expectation.de.